Right. On page 37 in your practice book, number one, which of the following expressions is equivalent to 4,325,000? Now, the main thing I want you to understand is if your original number is greater than one, your exponent is positive. If the original number is between zero and one, the exponent is negative. So if you're looking at this problem, you should know that this is greater than one and you can eliminate any, po any negative exponents. Now we just need to decide, is it 10 to the 6 or 10 to the 9? The new decimal needs to go here between the 4 and the 3. And we're going to be moving it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 decimal places. So D is the correct answer. And then it says that Carson chose A as the correct answer. How did he get that answer? Several different correct answers. He moved the decimal the wrong way. Um... He misinterpreted the question, but he put a negative exponent instead of positive. Anything that explains to me why he was wrong. Hey, that's good. I was like, why wow, this fast? You wrote your D, and then you went back over there and you it. Number two. The mass of Earth's moon is about 7 times 10 to the 22nd kilograms. The mass of Jupiter is 1.89 times 10 to the 27th kilograms. The mass of Jupiter is about how many times the mass of Earth's moon? They're telling you that Jupiter is the larger. If you're not sure, look at your numbers. So Jupiter is larger than Earth's moon. So you're going to divide Jupiter by Earth's moon. Now, Jupiter was 1.89 times 10 to the 27, and Earth's moon is 7 times 10 to the 22. When you are dividing, you're going to divide your constants. So 1.89 divided by 7 is 0 0.27, and then we're going to divide the base tens, 10 to the 27th divided by 10 to the 22 would be 27 minus 22, which would give us 10 to the 5th. Now, this is not correct scientific notation. If we was going to fix it, we would move the decimal over one place, making it 2.7. We would remove an exponent because we just made that number one place value larger which reduced that exponent by 1. Now, if we actually want to know how many times greater it is, we're going to put it in standard form. I still need to make it four more place values larger. So that's going to be 27 would be 1, 270 is 2, 2700 is 3, and 27,000 would be all four. So it is 27,000 times greater than Earth's moon. Number three. Last year, a restaurant chain spent 3.3 times 10 to the $6 opening new restaurants. This year, the restaurant will spend 9.9 .9 times 10 to the $5. Which statement is true? Which, yep, just one. Now, A says the restaurant spent $330,000 last year. Well, the problem said that last year they spent 3.3 times 10 to the $6. So they're wanting us to decide if this is the correct change from scientific to standard. 3.3 .3 times 10 to the 6, when I make that 6 place values larger, 33, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That would give me not 330,000, but 3,300,000. ,300 so A is not correct. When we look at B, the restaurant, this year, the restaurant will spend 9,900,000. Well, they're saying this year they will spend 9.9 .9 times 10 to the fifth. Make 9.9 .9 five decimal places bigger. There's one, two, three, four, five. 
and you get 990,000, not 9,900,000. So B is also not correct. C says the restaurant spent 6.6 .6 times 10 to the $6 more this year than last year. Did they spend more this year than last year? This year they spent 990,000. Last year they spent 3 million. That is enough to answer this question. They did not spend more this year. They spent more last year. D says this year the restaurant will spend about 0 0.3 times the amount it did last year. Now we just said that they spent less this year, but notice that that decimal is less than one. Okay, they are spending less, but if you wanted to be sure about the 0 0.3 times, just divide them. 3.3 .3 times 10 to the 6 divided by 9.9 .9 times 10 to the 5. That's going to give you 0 0.3 times 10 to the 1, which just becomes 0 0.3 times, I think. Should be 3 times. No, it's 0 0.3. This must be point. I guess 3.3 .3 divided by 9.9. .9. Point three repeat it. It's D. Okay, number four. Which of the following numbers is not in scientific notation? Now, if you're just glancing at these, you're going to notice that all of these have a constant and all of them have a base 10. The problem is one of these is not in the correct form. 4.5 is between 1 and 9, and it has a base 10, so it's okay. 3.025 times 10 to the 9 is, 3 is between 1 and 9, which is correct. It has a base 10. There's nothing wrong with it. 0 0.21 is not between 1 and 9, so it is correct. Okay, the answer here is C. 1.1 is between 1 and 9, and it has a base 10, which makes it correct. Number five, write this number in scientific notation and explain how you found your answer. We have a number that is smaller than one, which means our exponent is going to be negative. We're going to have a negative exponent. We're going to move the decimal so that our number is between one and nine, which means I'm going to put it right here between the three and the one. So 3.105 times 10 to the negative, now I just need to know how many place values it has to move. It starts here, and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 place values, and my answer is 3.105 times 10 to the negative 7. Number 6. The area of the Pacific Ocean is about 1.56 times 10 to the 8 square kilometers. The area of the East China Sea is about 1.2 times 10 to the 6 square kilometers. Tell whether each statement is true or false. A is converting from scientific to standard, and we're just checking to see if they did it right. You could convert this one, or you could convert this one and then compare. It doesn't matter. I'm going to convert this one. 1.56 times 10 to the 3, 6, 7. I got 1.56 times 10 to the 7. The original number was 1.56 times 10 to the 8. Those are not equal, so it is false. B says the area of the Pacific Ocean is about 130 times the area of the East China Sea. If we wanted to compare these, I've got the Pacific Ocean has a 10 to the 8th. Okay, it has 8 more place values. And the East China Sea have, only has 6 more place values, which makes the Pacific Ocean 2 place values larger than the East China Sea. This says that the Pacific Ocean is 130 times the area of the East China Sea which is true, and I'll show you the numbers in just a second. If you wanted to divide this out to see for sure that it's 130, you would have 1.56 times 10 to the 8th 
divided by 1.2 times 10 to the 6th, which would give us, I think it's 0.13 times, no it's not, let me just divide it. 1.56 divided by 1.2 is 1.3. Am I decimal in the wrong spot? Okay, so 1.3 times 10 to the 2, and then when you move that decimal, you get 130. Now, C is the same question, except they're switching it, and they're saying that the East China Sea is larger than the Pacific Ocean, which is not true. That is false. And then D is converting the East China Sea into standard form. They've given it to us up here in scientific notation. We just want to know if those two numbers are a match. 1.2 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is what I got. And 1.2 times 10 to the 6 is what they had. So it is true.